everyone, my name is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. Please make yourself comfy because we are talking about sports today. Prepare yourselves, breathe, it's gonna be fine. Before we go any further, if we haven't met before, my name is Lindsay. I make videos about pop culture with an emphasis in Broadway, so if that's your thing, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I make a brand new video. So, something big happened over the weekend. Yes, that's right, it's iCarly jumping on Netflix. But the second biggest thing that happened this weekend was the Super Bowl. Yay, I think? I normally don't pay attention to anything that involves a dude throwing around a ball, followed by somebody getting covered in Gatorade, but this time was different. The Super Bowl hosted not just the two teams that were competing this year, but also 25,000 spectators. Looking at this picture, the arena seems like it was packed, but it actually looked like this. Take a look at this picture, however long you need to, just to like breathe, calm down from your panic attack. But still, 25,000 people in one arena seems pretty risky during a pandemic. And some people in the theater community have taken this as a double standard. They argue that because the Super Bowl hosted 25,000 people in one arena, a theater can open up like right now. And I don't agree with that. Here's why. I think this is something that could be identified as a symptom of pandemic fatigue, but let me make this clear in case anybody has completely forgotten. And I'll say it real slow. Just because they do it does not mean it's okay. In this day and age, this applies to the Super Bowl, potlucks, and one night stands. It's still not okay because we are in a panini press, a panty, or a Panera bread. However you like to call this pandemic that now has more nicknames than I ever will. Yes, the Buccaneer Stadium had 25,000 people in attendance at the very minimum, but that doesn't mean it's safe for a thousand people to congregate in buildings that are old as dirt. I want to think that those in the arts, especially those who have been so vocal about like social distancing, like wearing masks and things like that, are not using this event as an argument that Broadway should open up right this second. Some of them unfortunately are. I'll be honest about how theater people are perceived in the real world. We are incredibly annoying. We are annoying to the nth degree. We are the rash on everyone's bodies. We can't stop being who we are. That's fine. I don't want the main takeaway of this video to be that we are annoying and we should stop being that way. No, not at all. Think of all the negative adjectives that have been used to describe a theater person. Now think of all the negative terms that have been thrown at you by bullies because you showed up to school on Halloween one year wearing a homemade fandom mask. Now that you have all those adjectives and terms in your head, do you really want super spreader added to that list? Kids, okay, between you and me, any theater professional who just a month ago was like, oh, look at this big surge, everybody stay home or else you're my mortal enemy, to come on, why can't we open up now? The weekend got to perform on a stage, why can't I? It's time to throw them away. They are asinine. If they're willing to broadcast those dumb thoughts onto the dumb internet, they are probably dumb as a post. It's probably time to stop standing them and maybe stand someone like um me <laughs> for example you know since we're here <laughs> hey let's not uh say dumb things right now because of pandemic fatigue i don't want people to look back on this phase of the pandemic with regret i don't want to look back at this moment of the pandemic and think of it as like the low rise jeans moment of this entire time now i can probably assume why the nfl was able to host the super bowl while broadway was shut down and that's mainly because of the budget and where the event took place the super bowl takes place in a giant arena while broadway is comprised of tightly packed theaters with 15 dollars Twizzlers. And the NFL has the budget that far surpasses Broadway, and they have the money to have COVID protocols in place. But even if Broadway shows had NFL money, it still would not be safe to open back up. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I missed out on the part of this nation's conversation that money makes you immune to a raging disease. Sorry, my bad, my apologies. I know I'm saying all this, and it probably looks like I'm implying that Broadway shows are just choosing not to open right now, but it's actually the Broadway League and the governor of New York who are temporarily banning performances right now. And remember, that is the state of New York. And they're doing a fairly decent job, I mean, compared to like other states, in terms of handling this pandemic. And remember, the Super Bowl took place in Florida for a reason. Because Florida is your trailer park cousin. They do their own thing. They've taught alligators how to play fetch. Every time you see them, they're missing another tooth. The NFL could probably bypass the bare minimum of COVID protocols because Florida is a free spirit unfortunately. Theater people, if and when you watch this, if you're feeling disgruntled because you watched athletes thrive while you were metaphorically thrown in a dumpster again, it's okay to feel that way. It's frustrating. I'm not here to discredit or minimize any of your feelings right now. It's hard. However, as a theater person myself, I have never stooped low enough to feel jealous of an athlete. And today is not that day. And I say this as someone who wants the industry to return to normal as quickly as possible, but 
we're better than this. But when I look back on this time during this pandemic, I want the arts industry to be seen as like the leaders of, of responsibility and staying home even when it was hard to do so. I don't want the theater industry to be seen as like a group of people who were peer pressured by athletes because Ugh, gross. The number one rule of this pandemic past masks, past social distancing is don't be jealous of an athlete. We're better than that. Tell me in the comments down below what are your thoughts on the Super Bowl being able to do its thing while theater as a whole is still like waiting to come back. Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video please make sure to subscribe to me and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I make a brand new video. I make videos whenever I want. You can find me on my social medias down below and I will see you all next time. Bye!